hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. I'm Jason and this is Majorette's number 210 Volkswagen K70. It was produced between 1973 and 1976, with these metallic blue coloured cars available from 1974 onwards. My example has flaking paintwork and a scratched rear window that I'll attempt to remedy with some polishing. Here is a mint K70, utilising its tow hook. And this is a 1973-75 K70L on which the casting is based. The K70 was originally developed by NSU to complement its Vankel rotary engined R080 Executive Saloon. It was scheduled to be unveiled to the public at the 1969 Geneva Motor Show, but it was cancelled at the last minute. It was a turbulent beginning for the car, as at the same time as its intended launch, NSU shareholders had endorsed a Volkswagen takeover, with plans for NSU taking over Auto Union in a merger with VW. The reality was that VW took over NSU and merged NSU and Auto Union to create what is now known as Audi. A result of this corporate restructuring was that just 23 NSU badged K70s were built. But Volkswagen were in need of an updated mid-size family car to replace their air-cooled, rear-engined, rear-wheel drive Type 4, a derivative of the original Type 1 Beetle. Volkswagen promptly scrapped all marketing material advertising the K70 as an NSU. The firm was set on investing in the K70's modern front-engined, front-wheel drive design and styling. Production on the Volkswagen K70 began in August 1970. It launched with a four-cylinder, water-cooled 1600cc engine that produced 74 horsepower. It had been based on the 1200cc air-cooled engine that was found in the back of the NSU 1200. During its production span, 211,127 examples were built, but in that time, numerous changes were made to the K70. This was in order to promote commonality with other Volkswagen products. First, in August 1971, it lost its square-edged bumpers in favour of those from the Audi 100, which were more rounded. At the same time as a shifter linkage upgrade a year later, the L version of the car received twin round headlamps in place of the previously rectangular ones. Indeed, this casting is a 1600L and is even badged as such on the rear. For the final two years of production, the 1600L was replaced by the larger and more powerful 1800LS. The interior of the K70 benefited from more space over its contemporary Volkswagen stablemates due to its front-wheel drive layout. It had class-leading luggage capacity and due to a higher-than-usual engine mounting, a high driving position. It had a wide track to accommodate the higher centre of gravity owing to the height and the weight of the cabin glass. The K70 was never a particularly popular or successful vehicle. It was priced below the sister Audi 100, but overlapped market share with the Type 4 for a time. Serviceability may have been problematic, with Volkswagen dealers having been trained in servicing rear-engined air-cooled cars for years. The front-engined, water-cooled K70 was likely a real culture shock. Another factor may have been the links to the R080, which quickly gained a reputation for its rotary engine's poor reliability. The K70 also suffered from significant corrosion issues. Production ran up until February 1975 on the K70, though it had been already replaced by the Audi-based Passat in 1973. Of the 211,000 plus that were built, only around 800 K70s were built right-hand drive for the British market. This will be why this casting is my first encounter with the K70. So it's yet another slightly left-field casting choice by Majorette, a bit like the Oldsmobile Omega I restored in the same colour a few months back. But I suppose at least the K70 was contemporary and European, so it might have actually been seen on the roads of the continent, unlike the Omega. But we've whizzed through the restoration and we're already nearly completely rebuilt. All that's left is the polished base that is hooked on at the rear via the bumper while the front end is held together with a rivet now replaced by a screw. 
So this is how my Majorette Volkswagen K70 looked a little earlier. I wasn't aware of the K70 before I took on this build, which is a little odd for a product of a large manufacturer from the last 50 years. It really set Volkswagen in good stead for their future front wheel drive developments as they stepped away from the older, rear mounted, air cooled units. It's a lovely little casting too of the later round headlamp bestowed K70L and here it is now. The polished grille stands out more now following a polish with some auto sole. The paint I've matched as closely as I could with a base coat of gloss aluminium. It then had a couple of coats of clear blue over the top. The rear window still has evidence of the deep gouges but it was much improved from before. I've also fixed the damage to the wheels, coated them in Citadel and then given them a topping of Molotow Chrome so they now look as good as new. But that's about it for this, for me, educational build. I really enjoy these Majorette castings that are perhaps slightly more oddball choices. If you'd like to see more, make sure you drop the video a like, leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. Check out my Patreon for previews of upcoming builds, links are below and at the end of the video. But all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.